afternoon. I'm on London Bridge. On the north side, you would know there is the city of London. Behind me is Suffolk, home to the Shard and many other buildings. And on the north side, it's got many of its very famous skyscrapers. And also on the north side, there's a small little road down here. Underneath London Bridge on the north side of the Thames, there's a bridge called Thames Street. And I find it very interesting because it's made up of two streets and they meet together at one specific point. So how about we go there, take a look at it, see what's interesting about it, and I'll talk about some of the history of this London street. Welcome to Thames Street. Street is a road made up of two streets split and separated in the middle underneath London Bridge. The street is in fact split into two, upper and lower, upper meaning to the west and lower to the east. It forms a part of the busy A3211 road route as it connects two of London's most historical places, them being Tower Hill and Westminster. It also first appeared on a map in 1799. Nowadays, Thames Street is home to high finance and tourism but there's also some other things that are pretty cool to check out before we actually get to the streets. So you should probably already know, when you cross London Bridge on the north side, you will be greeted by the monument to the Great Fire of London, which lies between Monument and Fishall Street. But something you probably didn't know, is that this is also the location of where the really old King William Street tube station used to be a very long time ago. The start, of the world's first deep level underground railway that we now know today as the Northern Line. Another little thing to note down is that Thames Street also used to be a relatively narrow street. This old picture I found online can just show you how much it has changed over the years. The closest underground station is of course Monument itself, which does indeed link with Bank to give it that whole complex, Monument Bonk. And one more interesting thing next to here is Pudding Lane, a very historic site as this is the location from where the Great Fire of London started, hence why there is a monument here in the first place. There's also a plaque giving information about it. Enough talking about all this stuff, how about we actually get down to the street now? Alright, so I made it down here. Uh, down there is a monument and uh, I walked across this little footbridge, went down the spiral staircase here. And um, now I'm down here, and um, just over there is the boundary of Thames Street, of Lower Thames Street and Upper Thames Street. And um, I, passed through, I passed through this area many times before, and I think it just looks really cool. So let's check it out now. So just a short walk down there from where I just spoke to you. Um, I make it to the Thames Street boundary. Now this is a boundary of two separate streets, and I don't think there's any other place in London like this where two streets meet up at one point like this. Lower Thames Street and Upper Thames Street. I passed through this, uh, I passed through this place many times by bus. And um, the, the London bus route 344 is the only bus route to pass through the street. And um, many times I pass through this area and um, I see this like a divide, it's like a split between these two streets. I don't know if there's any other place in London that has two streets meeting together up like this. I just think it looks really cool. So I've made it to the other side of the road now. I was just there, and now I'm over here. And um, in the past, a very long time ago, this street used to be way more narrower. So it, it definitely has changed over the years. I'll uh, pop up some pictures on screen now what it used to look like. Um, or I would have done it earlier in the video when I'd done the voiceover. But, um, there used to be a very, um, very um, small bridge here, and now it's way more bigger, with um, 
it was you know just like a very it was like a small arch and um there's like a picture from a very long time ago and um the street yeah the street used to be very more um much um used to be much more narrower but now it's a lot more wider and uh you can just see how much it changed so as we end off Thames Street down there is Lower Thames Street over here is Upper Thames Street and uh, a nice closing shot of the shards that was it that was just the brief history about this really cool street called Thames Street in London it might just be my favorite road junction in London but I'm not so sure about that anyways please like and subscribe turn the post notification bell on if you haven't already so you can get the notifications from when I upload because they don't always give you the notifications when someone uploads, so please go ahead and do that. Otherwise, this has been Luca for Transport for Luca, and goodbye.